Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Code Today we are here to discuss the Chrome and Chrome Measure, which is a part of different context of code forms around 884. So, in this question, we are given a number n and we need to form a string of size n such that if we form a uh, possible grid from that uh, string, like uh, just think that uh, we have this THAT, this is our string. And how many uh, grids can be possible from this? They, that is this, this, and this. So the possible condition is that uh, the character which are at the set, means the cells which are at the set should contain distinct characters. Means uh, like where is that written that a grid of character A is paid if there are some two at the set cells with same character. So you are given a positive integer n. Consider all strings as consisting of only lowercase letter, Latin letters, such that there are no the row major order of any bad grid. That means we need to form a string as of size n, such that if we form any row major grid from that string, there should not be a bad grid. So find any string with the minimum. This is the main condition that that should be contain minimum number of distinct character among all such string of length n. So, uh, first of all, come on the solution. That what, what is the solution? That whatever n is given to us, we can iterate a loop from 1 to n, and whatever the first number which we get, that is not that is not the dividing n. Means whatever i we are getting first, which is n percent i is not equal to zero. Then we can make a string of size i. Like uh, we will discuss why is it working after all, but uh, now our target is that how uh, what I am trying to say that this thing that we are getting i is equal to three. What it means that uh, if value of one is um, eight, then we are iterating loop from one to eight. Uh, we are checking for i equal to one, eight percent one. That is not that is zero. Eight percent two. That is zero. At percent three, that is not equal to zero. Then stop here. We get i is equal to three. Then we can make a string of size three. That is uh, ABC. And from this ABC, we can make a string of size n. Like if we are trying to make a string of, of size eight, then that will be ABC, ABC, and AB. That is a string of size eight. So uh, now the question is why is it working? Like you can see here that uh, how many grids are possible? That is A, B, C, A, B, C. Another one is A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B. Uh, next one is A, B, C, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B. Okay, this one. And last one is A B. Okay, I think that will be enough. Yeah, that will be. Okay. A B C A B C A B. These are four grids which can be possible from this system. Okay. Now you can see here that there is not any grid which contains two cells. There is not any grid which contains two cells with same character. You can check any grid here. Now, why is it working? For that, uh, look at that. Uh, like in this one, the condition is only when that uh, character, if you are i and i plus one character, i and i plus one characters should not be same for this grid. i and i plus one, i and i plus one. For this one, there is two conditions. First of all, first condition is i and i plus one characters should not be same, which we have considered here. i and i plus one characters should not be same. That is there. Another one is i, i plus one, i plus two. Means i and i plus two. i and i plus two characters should not be same. i character and i plus two character. These two should not be same. In this one. I and I plus one should not be same. 
another one is i i plus one i plus two i plus three i plus four which means uh, i and i plus one we have done right here it is saying that i character and i plus fourth character these should not be same and this is just in about i and i plus one which we have considered here so from here you can see that we are getting three conditions first of all first condition is i and i plus one character should not be same i and i plus two character i and i plus fourth character should not be same these are only three conditions this should be true for our string if that is true then we can output that now uh, what we consider that this is our string in this string you can see that i i plus one i i plus one that is not sent anywhere i i plus or two i i plus two i i plus two like this one this one this one this one these are not sent for i and i plus four i plus one plus two plus three plus four i b and c c and a k and b these are that is not sent so yeah that is true so now why is this working like uh, are you sure that uh, this will be true for all examples so for that what we are doing uh, just in that why uh, which which can be condition in which this can be false what we have done that i and i plus three character we matched it like what is i character that is a i plus three that is one two three that is also a b b c c which means in our string i character and i plus three character that will be same if anywhere we are getting it uh, somewhere i character and i plus three these two character are same uh, okay not these two like i want to uh, find out a condition where or string is false which means like uh, in a grade that is saying that i character and i plus k character these both should not be same like this is saying i and i plus one this is saying i and y plus two this is saying i and i plus four so we are getting a grade which is saying that i character and i plus k character should not be same okay and what string we have made in that string i and i plus three character that is same so what can be the contradictory condition that can be that uh, if k if k percent three that is equal to zero that is the only condition in which uh, these two condition will be false what i want to say that or uh, just think that value of k is nine which means that is saying that over like uh, just i character and i plus ninth character that should not be same we are getting a grid that is saying this thing. but uh, this string we made i in which i character and i plus third character that is same i character and i plus third character that is same so if we consider this as a j character and j plus third character also will be same if we consider this as a k then k plus three character this character also will be same so this is i this is i plus three j plus three that means i plus three plus three that is i plus six and this is i plus nine this is equal to this this is equal to this this is equal to this that means i character and i plus nine character that is same and these this condition this condition both are contradictory so this is the possible condition in which we can say that or answer k might be wrong but is it possible that if we can get this condition that is not possible why like here you see that if n is equal to 8 then we are getting i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 4 same if you get n equal to like uh, I, if i consider 105 okay then you will get that uh, i plus like if you are iterate a loop from 1 to 
not take one zip file, just take uh, 35. Then if you iterate a loop from 35, 1 to 35, then you will see that uh, 4i equal to 2. That is not dividing 35. So over uh, this can go over string. And what should be the value of k? That is making a contradictory condition. So k should be divisible by 2. So k can be either 4, add 16, uh, 32, something like this one. But is it possible that somewhere 35 means an percent k that is equal to 0? But an percent 2 that is not equal to 0. This cannot be possible. Why? Because k percent is equal to 0. If k is a uh, multiple of 2, then obviously uh, n modulo k that will not be equal to 0. Why? Because n modulo 2 is not equal to 0. You can see here that n is equal to 35, n percent 2 is not equal to 0, then n percent 4 and 16, 32, that will be also not equal to 0. So that's why our solution will be work in all condition. So what is final solution? That I iterate a loop from 1 to n. Check the first number which is no dividing n. Which means check the first ith number uh, which modulo with n is not equal to 0. Then make a string of i character and the all i character should be distinct. Like if i is 5 then you can make a, b, c, d, d. And just using these 5 characters and this same pattern adding same string again and again make a string of size n. So if you see the code, then uh, we are making code. Uh, final answer can be at max n. Okay. Then I take a loop from 1 to n plus 1. Check the first item up, which is not dividing n. And make a string of size n that is on j. So that is simply this str, which is containing a string of character j. And all characters are distinct. This is str. And this is our final answer string that is uh, k is equal to n by n. That is, that is saying that how many uh, string str we can add in our answer. So k times we are adding str and there can be some modular condition like if value of n is 10 and value of n is 3 then a, b, c a, B, C, A, B, C. So 10 by 3, that is 3 in integer. So we have added 3 times A, B, C. Then 10 percent 3, that is 1. Which means we have to add one more factor. That is this. Now that is this layer. So we are adding 10 factors more from STR. That will be our final answer. But there may be a doubt that what if value of n is more than 26 because what we are saying that all these n uh, j characters should be distinct but if value of n is more than 26 then we cannot uh, use uh, more than 26 letters which can be distinct from doubtless latin letters so for that uh, just try to think that from 1 to 26 what can be possible number n, which will be due, uh, like if we iterate a loop from 1 to n, then we are getting a i, which is not dividing this n, and we are getting n modulo i is not equal to 0. So what can be the possibility for n, such that value of i is more than 26, for that uh, n modulo 1, 2, and 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, till uh, 23. This old prime numbers are not prime numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, not this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till 26. The number should be 
multiplication of these four. Because if they did not multiplication of five, then we can terminate here. Or we will terminate here and we will get i as over five. So date number should be multiple of uh, should be one into two into three into four into till twenty six. And if you multiply these four, you will get the date multiplication will be more than ten to the six. In question, we are given that value of one will be less than or ten to the six. So basically, that is same. It will final the answer which you are getting is the number of distinct character in our system will be less than twenty six. Let us have equal to twenty six in all conditions. So the code was not so much difficult. Uh, music was a little bit tricky. So I hope you all got it. See you in the next program. Till then, have a good day. Bye bye.